Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel and for this week's topic, we're gonna talk about relations and functions. And after going through this lesson, you are expected to illustrate a relation and function, verifies if the given relation is a function, determines dependent and independent variables. To further understand, I have here the definition. Set is a well-defined collection of objects. Examples, a set of colors, pink, blue, red, black, orange, set of fingers, thumb, index, middle, ring, and ring. A set of numbers, negative 4, negative 3, 0, 2, and 4. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. And always remember class that the domain is the set of all x values in the relation. Example, ordered pair 2, 3, negative 1, 5, 4, negative 2. 9 and 9, 0 and negative 6. So this is a relation because this is a set of ordered pairs, right? And the domains are 2, negative 1, 4, 9, and 0. Or negative 1, 0, 2, 4, and 9. So these are the x values written in a set from smallest to largest. Alright? While the range is the set of all y values in the relation. Example, in this given ordered pair, we all know that this is a relation because again, this is a set of ordered pairs, right? And 3, 5, negative 2, 9, and negative 6 are the range. Alright, and these are the y values written in a set from smallest to largest. Negative 6, negative 2, 3, 5. 5 and 9. Another example. So I have here a set of ordered pairs. So we all know that this is a relation. So how about the domain and the range? So alam natin na ang domain is the set of all x values. So we have here negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. How about the range? So the range is the set of all y values. So 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3, and negative 5. So, let's arrange it into ascending order. So, ang gabi natin, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, yung range natin, negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 3. Alright? Now, let's proceed to the representation of relations. First, mapping. As you can see here, a mapping diagram consists of two columns. The first column represents the domain or the x values, and the other column for its range or the y values. The lines or arrows are drawn from domain to range to represent the relation between any elements. Second, ordered pairs. Consider the following ordered pairs. A coordinate is in the form of x and y. The first number corresponds to the x coordinate and the second to the y coordinate. And sometimes relations can be represented in a table or table of values. A table rows or columns display the corresponding input and output values. So ang first row natin i x values and yung second row natin i y values. Okay? The last way to represent relation is through graph. You can graph by plotting the points on the rectangular coordinate plane. You can take the points from the set of ordered pairs, table of values, or equations, or vice versa. Now, let's proceed to the types of relations. First, we have one-to-one, -one, second, one-to-many, and third, many-to-one. Let's take an example. I have here the name of the celebrities for my domain 
and their characteristic as my range. Observe the given map. Two or more elements in the domain paired to only one element in the range. The correspondence is many to one. Next, the celebrity couple. So every element in the domain is paired to only one element in the range. So the correspondence is 1 to 1. And for our last example, so this is the domain which is the name of the group and this is my range which is the name of the members. So if one element in the domain map with more than one element in the range, the mapping is called the one to many relation. All right. Now let's analyze functions and not a function. So functions many to one and one to one, while not a function is one to many. And for you to further understand functions and not functions, I have here the definition. A function is a rule that gives a single output number for every valid input number. Example. So as you can see here, I have here a single output number and a valid input number. So this is an example of a function. Another example. I have here two valid input numbers and a single output number. Can you have two different letters going to one mailbox? Yes, so this is a function. Another example, I have here a valid input number and two output numbers. The question is, can you have a one letter going to two different mailboxes? So no, this is not a function. So always remember class that a function is a relation when each element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. For every x, there is exactly one y, and the x-coordinate cannot be repeated. Now let's try. Set A is the domain, set B is the range, and look at the given diagram. So the correspondence is 1 to 1. And let's check. Must use all the x. Yes? The x value can only be assigned to 1 y. Yes. So this is an example of a function. Next. Is the relation shown above a function? Let's see. Must use all the x. Yes. The x value can only be assigned to 1 y. No, because 2 was assigned both 4 and 10. So this is an example of not function. And also, the correspondence is 1 to many. Another practice. Observe the given diagram. Must use all the x? Yes. The x value can only be assigned to 1 y. Yes, and also the correspondence is many to one. So this is an example of a function. In our previous discussion, we can easily determine a function or not by looking at the ordered pairs or table of values. But how about for the graphs? So we can use vertical line test or pencil test. If any vertical line passes through more than one point of the graph, then that relation is not a function. Are these functions? So I have here three graphs. And now let's draw a vertical line test. So in our first graph, there is only one point of intersection between the graph and the vertical line. So this is an example of a function. How about the second graph? So the vertical line intersects the graph at exactly one point. So the graph is a function. Third, the vertical line intersects the circle in two points. So I have here one point and one point here. The same with the other line. Point here and then another point. 
another point here. So the graph is not a function. Always remember if you draw a vertical line to the graph and intersects the graph in two or more points, then the graph is not a graph of a function. Alright? Now let's move on to dependent and independent variables. Dependent variable is a mathematical variable whose value is determined by that of one or more other variables in a function. It depends on the independent variable. While independent variable is a mathematical variable that is independent on the other variables in an expression or function and whose value determines one or more of the values of the other variables, it controls the dependent variable. Remember, the variable x is considered the independent variable because any value could be assigned to it. However, the variable y is the dependent variable because its value depends on the value of x. Example, cost of chicken and its weight. Cost of chicken is the dependent variable and its weight is independent variable second example income of a worker and number of hours of work income of a worker is the dependent variable and number of parts of work independent variable last example perimeter of a square and its size perimeter of square is the dependent variable its side independent variable 